sales taxes and EU VAT is typically very complicated to set up with an e-commerce platform, but not with Surecart because we have made it very easy. And normally it's also very expensive, but not with Surecart. We're doing real time tax calculations. You don't have to pay anything for it. It's included with Surecart when you're using it. All of our users get access to this. And it's also very easy to set up. So I'm going to show you how in this video, but let me just say before I get started, this is in by no means tax advice, legal advice, or anything like that. It's your responsibility to find out if you have to collect taxes or not in all of the little intricacies of it. Surecart makes a lot of this stuff automated, but you still have to make a few decisions, but it's actually quite easy. So let me show you how. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to set up taxation inside of Surecart. Then I'm going to show you how to enable it on a per product basis, because not every product might need to might or might not need to be taxed. And then I'm going to show you what happens to your checkout forms and how to customize that as well. There's a lot of automated things we do there. So first, let's go to our settings. And there it is. We have an option here that says taxes. Go ahead and click on that. And this address right here is extremely important because taxes are basically a calculation of where the business is as well as where the buyer is. So this is the address that you put in and it's going to be used as a basis for tax calculations. All right, so let's toggle on tax collection and I'm going to click on save just to get this saved. And let's look at the extra options we have here. So if you're an EU VAT merchant or you have EU VAT collection obligations, we have some additional customizability here. Here you can require a VAT num number. Here you can enable local reverse charges. And here you can choose what happens if there's an error in verifying the VAT number. And down here, there's some additional tweaks that you can make based upon your region. So for example, I am a United States merchant. And when I click in here, it already knows, Surecart already knows that I'm in California because that's the address I put in. So it's entered right here that taxes will be based upon the business being in California. But you could have something known as Nexus. This is not a legal advice video, so I'm not going to get into the details of that. But if I'm under an obligation to say collect taxes as well for another state, I can click right here where it says collect tax and I can enter in that other state right there. Pretty cool, right? And so each of these tax regions, there's going to be additional options. There's options here in the EU, and uh, here's some specific parts based upon your country. We have all of that there. And we also have this for other areas. So for Canada, you can go in here. You can enable the collection of GST and then click right here and you can customize things further. So we've got all these options in here. So first thing is to turn on tax collection, then visit your EU VAT options and then as well right here for your tax regions to set it up. So this is the first step. Now, the second step is to enable tax on the individual products. So I'm going to click into products and I'll click into this particular product right here. And you can see over on the right, we have tax and shipping options. So the first option is to charge tax on this product. So I'm going to toggle this on. And then right here, you could say if it's a physical product or not. And there's different taxes based upon if it's a physical or digital product. So we've reduced it down to just this toggle switch. So I'll go ahead and toggle this on. And then I'm going to click on save product here in the top right. So remember, I said that the tax calculation is going to be based upon where the business is as well as where the buyer is. So on a checkout form, you need to have an address input for that calculation. And if that was required, a VAT number entry, you need to have a field for that. But what we do is we want to make this easy. So we automatically add that to your checkout forms if 
the product in the checkout form is one that requires taxation. So here is a checkout form and you can see it added this country and region. So I would pop in the country, the state, the zip code and taxes are automatically being added. I can look here in the summary and there it is. So this happens automatically, but you can also manually add the address and put it where you want as well as manually add the VAT and put field input field and put that where you want. So let's take a look at this form to see how it looks right now. I'm going to go to forms and this is the name of the form right here. And if you notice when I'm looking at the form, there's no address field here. There's no EU VAT. Well, I don't have EU VAT enabled, but if I did, it would have shown that on the front end. So you can also manually add these fields if you want so that you can make sure that they go exactly where you want them to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at the blocks that Surecart offers. So if we look down here, we have the shipping address and then here is also that EU VAT. So for me, Here's the shipping address. I'm going to go ahead and add that and let's place that where we want it. I'll go up and there's some options. All of our blocks have options and there's lots of customizability. So if I look off to the right, there's a toggle. By default, it's off. When it's on, it's going to collect the address. So if you noticed, it was collecting before just the country, the city and the zip but I just toggled it on and it's going to now collect the street address. If you don't need the street address, leave it toggled off. Um, but you can also toggle on collecting a name or a company name, or you can have these off. It's up to you. So this is what it looks like on. I'll go ahead. Actually, I should enable both of these options. Let's update it and take a look at the differences with that form. So here's the form. You can see where when you don't add the address field, we add the country the state, the zip, I'm going to do a refresh and you're going to see now because I toggled them on that way, we're also collecting the name or the company name and the full street address. You don't actually have to do that for the calculation of tax. So I can turn these off and I could move this wherever the heck I wanted to. If I wanted it on the top, I can do that, even though it probably doesn't make a lot of sense. And you can see now it's been moved to the top. So the reason you would want to manually add the address field to your form is for placing it where you want. And if you wanted to add the collection of their name or their business name, as well as the street address. If you don't add it manually, we'll add it and only ask for the minimum of what we need in order to calculate the tax. And that's how you enable taxes inside of Surecart. It's now going to be collected for you and then it's up to you to take what was collected and disperse it to where it needs to go. Now, of course, tax rates change. These are being calculated in real time and it's typically an expensive thing. We pay for it, real-time tax calculations. And just for, if you were wondering, we use tax jar for that. So tax jar stays on top of all the rates. And whenever we get the buyer on your checkout form, putting in their address, then we go and we ask tax jar, what should be charged based upon the merchant location, based upon the buyer location and how you set up taxation inside of Surecart. And that's why it's so easy to set up inside of Surecart.